On behalf of the people who are Westminster Presbyterian Church, we wish you a Merry Christmas. On this holy morning, we celebrate that the Christ child has been born unto us. The angels rejoiced, the shepherds gathered, the wise ones witnessed, the animals bowed, all to the one held within the arms of Mary, God as a babe, a babe as the Messiah. As absurd as the claim is, God so longed to be with us that God took on the cloth of creation, the God of all, the Almighty, took on the form of a babe and as creator of all things was born unto human hands. And today we celebrate this babe being born unto us, Emmanuel, God with us. Within that stable, born also that morning was a new age. Born on that very day was a new kingdom where justice is to roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. This kingdom, this new way, was and remains a threat to the established way, a threat to the power structure, a threat to the systems of injustice. Like the Christ child born unto us, entrusted to the hands of creation, this kingdom, this new way, is continuously born unto us as well, entrusted also to the hands of creation, your hands, my hands, their hands, our hands. And like those who were threatened by the birth of the Messiah, there are those who refuse to celebrate this coming kingdom of justice, for it poses a threat to the status quo. We have seen that some will stop at nothing to prevent the delivery of the justice and equity within this kingdom. In this year alone, we intimately witnessed white supremacy laden terrors stealing the lives of our black neighbors, the very neighbors from whom justice is withheld. Women's equality stripped of yet another layer this past year. A perverted understanding of this coming kingdom causes increased hate crimes against our sisters and brothers of other faith traditions and increased hate and terror against our LGBTQ plus community. The status quo prevents opportunity for those seeking refuge, asylum. And this weekend's snowstorm reminds us of climate change realities as we continue poisoning the planet which is to host this kingdom being born unto us. On that first Christmas, a vulnerable babe was born unto human hands, the God of the universe, trusting God's very self to be cared for by humanity. In the same manner, this kingdom is being born into our hands. This too is part of the Christmas story, God trusting us to play our own role with this kingdom's delivery. As we celebrate the one who was born anew unto us this day, May we commit ourselves anew to seek and work for this kingdom that is being born into our world. May you always remember that the one who made the brightest stars and the deepest oceans and the highest mountains and everything in between also loved us so much that he came not as a king on a pedestal, but a baby born on the outskirts of town. So whether you find peace easily or hunt for it like an ancient treasure, searching under every rock and looking in every corner, may you see Christ in the face of the ones you spend this holy day with, including the face that you see in the mirror. May you find joy bubble up in you this day in the sound of children bounding down the stairs or in the silence of a warm drink as your face meets the glow of a Christmas tree in the dark, or the memories of people from Christmases long ago. Whether this Christmas season has been everything that you hoped it would be, or if it has fallen short of our sparkly and grand expectations, may we remember that this day we celebrate a family displaced from their home with animals alone as their roommates. And even still, the miracle arrives. Love always, always, always shows up. As the Christ candle is lit and burns through the night, may our hearts burn for justice to be found in all of the corners of our city and world. May the God of light wrap you in stardust as you meet the Christ child, the Emmanuel, 
the God with us, on this holy and special day, but also in the ordinary and regular days to come. In the spirit of Christ's hope, peace, joy, and love, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And together, as community within and beyond Westminster, may we have a blessed and meaningful new year.